is to understand how to create a drop down navigation let's understand so Jeez. Okay. Let's create a file. Eight drop down navigation dot HTML. So create drop down navigation. So let's write first the HTML code. And we can also write an element which is nav element. Right, one of the semantic element, and inside this nav element, let's give a block name ul, and inside this, write an li, inside this li, let's write an anchor element, something hope. Then, in the same way. Let's make it here. About us. Contact us. And then for this, let's make it. Products. Inside this products, we are planning to have nested list of items that is to create a navigation, drop down navigation. So, right. Product one, product two, product three. like this so okay we just given the list of items and as well nested list of items and that with the css we will be planning to create a nice drop down what's first a nice navigation and adding drop down for this let's see first
right so we are having group of items and as well nested list of items and now okay you can just write here itself or let's make it somewhere else that is external it's your choice so i'm just writing here itself for time being so style that is embedded style and now space ul the meaning selector one space selector two that means selector two should be inside somewhere else of selector one and if there is a ul inside that now we are adding this properties list style none first we are saying that list style none and bullet points gone away then additionally to this margin zero padding zero right everything is in a straight line now for each and every li so we will write like this selector one that is now inside it should have ul inside that ul it should have li and all the items that need to be placed side by side so we can go with the float left and the two giving preference to based upon uh, giving preference all the items that needs to be adjusted so position left by writing these things right so home products under these products we are having three items that are also showing side by side and about us contact us then next let's plan now space ul space li space a for an anchor element we are writing so make it display block then padding top and bottom 10 pixels whereas right and left that is for each and every li with an anchor element which is having for each and every anchor element wherever it is having we are giving top and bottom and right and left and as well we don't want an underline so just writing text decoration none and instead of just a blue color we are planning to change to something else so we are just writing color so okay i am just writing for timing three 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 so you can see for each and every nice for each and every anchor element you are having a nice effect which is black color and text decoration that is underlined go away and as well giving a space of each and every anchor element top and bottom right and left then now we can also add a font family you can also just go with an inherit inherit means whatever the browser is having the font the same it will be applicable to your content or as if you just wants to make it font family something if you want to make you can just go or as you can also make it as external font that we will discuss so nice okay now when you place a mouse over on a li if it is having directly an anchor element it should have some styling if it is having again ul it should show drop down right so for this we can write nav space ul space li colon hover greater than a the meaning of this one is it should immediately placed 
anchor element when you place a mouse over on a line it should find out immediately an anchor element then only the property will apply or properties so i'm just writing here background color something d t okay so let's see right origin every item it's having background color then now let's write for inside ul so write nav space ul and inside once again if there is an ul as we have given here space it is just checking whether that particular selector is inside the previous selector or not okay it can be immediately or else it can be somewhere else but finally if it is there that's enough so for this first we are writing display none then position exactly that needs to be i mean if that ul which is having inside that another ul that needs to show all the items in a block effect that to in a particular place exactly that means when i place a mouse over if it is having it should show under this zone whereas about us if it is having it should show under about us like this okay so now so position absolute whereas top 100 percentage left zero let's write a background color border solid something that is for this box and as well padding zero okay but a part of all these points but timing we just given first or inside this block display none so it won't show when it has to show when user is placing a mouse over if it is having ul inside that then it has to show then now now space ul space ul space la right now same like i said main navigation float for this we don't want any side by side so we are just writing float none and width of that item it should show fully then even in the drop down also we are having an anchor element right so nav space ul space ul space a for this also we are just adding top and bottom right and left and if you require yes when you place a mouse over then only it has to show the drop down to which item it's saving so to which item it's having so we can write here in nav space ul space when you place a mouse over on a particular li if it is having ul then show the items display block that's it so here we just kept ready all the right properties but defaulty we should not show right when user plays a mouse over on a particular li if that is having ul then only it has to show so now okay 
for contact us we don't have for about us we don't have whereas right product one that is the width of this item exactly how much it is there the same thing it is applying to the items also width right like this so now we got an idea how to create a navigation and as well how to create nested navigation we can say drop down navigation concept right so then you can also enhance this concept with some additional feature saying that enhance sorry responsive navigation responsive navigation means but it needs to have some functionality also so for timing there is some functionality means when you open this navigation in the wider width that's in the wider resolution all the items are showing side by side right now but when you make it an extra small device or small device Okay, let's go. Let me just make it. So let's create. This is a simple navigation with a drop down. Okay. Now we will plan to create a responsive drop down effect. What is that means? Irrespective of any resolution, it should adjust the item automatically. So let's create. And here you will be understanding a new concept how to write a media queries also what is media queries and how it works also we will see so responsive drop down navigation then so right here Let's wait. Right. So let's create create response you okay. 
drop down navigation. Okay, so now here we will add some write a now and you can also write a class for this you can say for example d menu it's your choice you can write whatever you want okay i am just saying that drop down menu okay then inside this navigation write a label and for this label we can also even write f for attribute menu btn and add a class for this we say dm hyphen menu hyphen btn that is we are going to have a class with some property or properties for this class which is menu button saying that to understand the naming dm that is drop down menu okay then and as well dm hyphen icon hyphen menu so so if you observe one more point based upon or depends upon the concept related to the concept we are trying to create a class names to easily understand then after this we have to create an input element but it's not just a point of accepting any characters from user aid. It is a point of action part. And you can just write here type checkbox where is an ID and that equals to menu button and write a class for this tm hyphen menu button c after this let's start with an ul and this ul can have a class dm hyphen collapse when you click on it it has to open the list of items dm hyphen collapse and inside this can have a class okay you can just try here a href and you can just write here home but as of now what we will do here is instead of writing hash symbol it needs to have an action part so just heads up i'm just writing and for understanding but further we will be using a programming part and you are going to implement inline javascript concept that is to the element itself we are writing javascript javascript colon void of zero then that is just in home and then another li with a class dm hyphen drop down inside this drop down let's write again javascript colon void of zero and then i am just going to write here for example categories to this categories sorry in this we are planning again to have some set of items 
So let's write here a href. For example, let's write something and here javascript colon void void of zero means it's not going to return anything that is the meaning but what is that and how it works we'll see in upcoming that is in javascript exactly but for timing we are planning to make it with the drop down effect and when user clicks on it how it needs to work to see the responsiveness we are planning to add this point so i'm just writing here apples bananas then so we have one main link that is home and the other one categories with a group of list of items and even the other let me just copy this one make it about us contact us okay so if you just run this one for timing right Now let's write that styling concept. Let me write a body with a group of properties. And I'm just writing for font also. Font, font weight that you can just say normal. Whereas font size. I'm just writing here 1.125 EM by 1.5. Yes, you can write. Of course, you can simply write even 10 pixels or 12 pixels or something like this. But if you want to make it something, a calculation part also, you can write 1.125 EM by 1.5. Then you can also write common, which is Roboto, comma, S -A -N -S, sans serif. This is one font. Okay, now let's do one thing. As we got in point here, a new, which is EM emphasis. So let's discuss about the measurements, what are those and how it can just you can write here one EM equals to how many pixels? Right. 8 pixels equals to 0 0.5 EM, whereas 1, pic, 1 EM equals to 16 pixels. Right, 2 EM, that's 2, and so on, so on. That is, and let me just open here, they might have given some list of items. That's measurements. So we have discussed different types of measurements right now. So pixels and EM conversion, that is commonly we will be using, and list of, you can just do on the here list of CSS measurement or measurements, right? You are able to see here CM, MM, Q, in, whereas mostly we use, let me just come up, X, C, stop thinking too much and writing when we are having some guide that is uh theory part we don't want to spend too much of the 
So to get an easy understanding, I'm just opening this part for you to get an idea. So PX, CM, but we don't use CM mostly. Very rare cases we use, whereas MM is not at all going to be used. And you can see here, one by 10th of centimeter of, which is 3.78 pixels, which is one MM. Whereas inches, 96 pixels, that equals to one inch. Whereas point, 1.3333 pixels is one point, whereas PC, 16 pixels is equivalent to one PC. Whereas EM, right, nice effect here. To get an idea more font size, same thing, font size 16 pixels or 1 EM or 3 EM, of course, H2, they have given, okay? 2 EM, it's your choice, depends upon. So then, whereas REM, both are almost same. I mean EM and as well REM, both are almost same. So same 16 pixels that equals to 1 EM or else 1 REM, okay? So percentage, that is... One per 75 percentage is equivalent to 400 pixels. They have given that is 400 into dot 75. Whereas a part of these things V, W and V, H. Vertical width and vertical, what is it, height. And we can also say width of the viewport. Viewport width and viewport height also. Then. Now, hold on for a second, please. Right. Then, so now we are getting all the different measurements here in this page. So you can also easily find out what are the measurements in CSS and how it works, so on. So, and that too, depends upon the font family also the measurements will be changing. I mean, the size of that particular character will be changed. Then V means, that is vertical mean and vertical max the same way so these are all the things we are having what are those we can say mostly we use among these measurements px pixels em rem v mean v height uh, v height sorry v mean v max whereas vh and v w these are all commonly we will be using the measurements in our designing okay now so yes let's see the rest of the points okay that is one concept that how with uh sorry to understand the concept of measurements the another one if you want to apply something different fonts we will be having commonly Perial, Vardana, times new roman and so on so on which is commonly used as it is loaded load uh sorry as it is loaded or installed along with the software the fonts but if you want to use an external font something different right so how to use that external fonts or different fonts unique fonts you can have a number of ways you can easily search here even google is also providing fonts so you can just type here google fonts for website then you can just open using web fonts fonts knowledge google fonts right we are having different types of google fonts here then just click on even this one fonts simply you can get all the items might be previously have selected these things so I just mm. so okay now right here roboto okay 
whatever that you want. For example, if I want to choose poppins, and I'm just selecting this poppins, it's giving some other variants. Thin, thin italic, extra light, and so on, so on. Among this, okay, we just go preference with the light 300, which is something able to see clearly. So I'm just clicking on light 300, and I can just click on the top left, so top right, and you can just see here the link or as at the rate of symbol import. What is this at the rate of symbol means? It's called decorator. And if you are choosing this one, you can just directly copy this particular code and place in the style sheet, of course, in the very beginning. So the URL is given. And how to use? You can just come to this place and just CSS rules. You can come down, you can just copy this one, font family. So separately font family that you can use. So a font is a common property for font weight, font size, and font family. Okay, either you can have like this, or else you can also have separately font weight separately, font um, size separately, and font family separately also. Okay. So let's see. As of now, we have given two things. Line number 10 font family is Roboto, but when it comes to line number 11, font family will pop in. So that will be over again. Okay. Now, additionally to this, so we got an idea how to use measurements and as well how to use external fonts also. Then write a background color. Then, so let's see first what we have done so far. So we can see here, right here. Okay, this is something different compared to the previous one. Then, let's move to the next points. We have given line number 18, D menu right now. So let's write here D menu. And for this background, you can also go with the background or as background color. If it is especially you want to go with the color, you can just go with the background color. And I'm just writing, for example, a combination, something 252525. Two, five, two, five. And you want to create a box shadow effect. How to create a shadow effect for the box. So I'm just writing here box hyphen shadow. The first value is left to right movement of shadow, how much of gap it should it should have. Top to bottom, whereas blurring. and wider the width of that shadow effect and for this which color that you want rgba so i'm just writing here 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma and 0 0.5 that is not exactly black we are just reducing that effect okay let's see what's output right you can just see here in the bottom small whereas in the right hand side small what is it shadow effect okay if you want to extend okay. let's do one thing here make it here for our understanding purpose okay first value is given side preference that is right hand that you can see here something a shadow effect okay that's first value is given to the right hand side preference whereas second value is given to the left bottom preference then right here box sizing can go with the border box and as well line height 
one. So we have some set of properties for this n line height we have given. Right? So it's just congested. Okay. Now line number twenty eight. We have an input element, and for this input element we have this one, which is dm hyphen menu hyphen button. So what we will do here is for that particular input element. Sorry, okay, we can say input element dot dm hyphen menu hyphen btn separated by comma. That means this particular class should apply only for input element. That is the meaning. And additionally to this, we are writing input. Now observe a new point. We are even able to apply the properties to the attributes also. So input of in the square bracket type equals to check or as we can say checkbox which is having d menu dot sorry dm hyphen menu hyphen bdm apart with this we are adding tilde symbol what is the meaning of tilde symbol means this is the selector one after this selector next selector should be but not immediately if you write if you write if you write plus symbol it needs to be immediately placed after completing of this input element the second element should be immediately placed but when you write tilde symbol it should be but it not having any guarantee to be immediately placed okay that is the meaning so additional to this dm hyphen collapse so in this we have three parts the one first is we are planning to have some set of properties to multiple selectors what are those two selectors the first line 22 and as well as second line 23 which is totally combined and inside this first line the class should not be applicable to somewhere else it needs to have input element this class should be inside that input element not for any other second thing it should be a checkbox then after this it should have a collapse that is opening a list of items but it can be somewhere else then for all these things we are just simply writing first display none so okay right then after this input of type equals to checkbox colon checked that is when user check clicks on that then you can write here dm hyphen menu hyphen btn and then dm hyphen collapse the above one and below one is the difference it is defaultly we are hiding but when user clicks on that particular input element then we are planning to show so we can write here display block okay then now a part of these points we have a label right a label what is that class name label dm menu button and as well dm icon both are there so label dot dm hyphen 
menu hyphen btn let's write a color something so nine five nine five nine five then cursor you can just say cursor with hand cursor with pointer cursor with progress like this then display block and for this we are having padding top and bottom right and left it's your choice that you can write will be 15 and 30 16 and 32 like this it's your choice so for this label we have okay then additionally to this label write a label dot dm hyphen menu hyphen btn but when you place a mouse over You are just seeing that color. F, F, F. So, right, of course, we are having an anchor element here. Everything is total box. Now, it's not completed. We just given a properties for button inside that label. Whereas, when you place a mouse over the color, we are just changing. Okay, about this DM hyphen collapse. So for this, we can write here border hyphen top. Border width, border, style, uh, border color. You can say border width and border style and border color. Then we have inside this li right? Right. So inside the D menu, we are having group of allies, right? Overall. So we can write here D menu space li. Additionally, D menu space ul. That is for drop down. For this list style, none, margin, zero, padding, zero. As of now, nothing else, the items are displayed. Okay, first thing, let me, and let me even do one thing. Clicking on inspect element, Right, you can just see here the resolutions, which is 992, which is default given. You can just even make it, for example, 320 and like this. The things, the items, the needs to show. Okay, let's do even. The menu with an anchor element. Let's write a color and display inline block, then padding 16 pixels and 32 pixels, whereas text decoration none. Okay, and let me just even. This one. So as of now, nothing else displaying. Okay, why it is not displaying? We'll just add the things. So let's do one thing. Let's just go back, go to the top. Display inline block, okay. Then, of course, we did not give it anywhere with the 
this is what when user clicks on it okay let's do a thing here right when user clicks on this box we are able to see all the items nice effect and even okay in the responsive navigation that's right now it can be 320 or as it can be 576 right and nice effect with the font for a color and as well the font uh, padding and just giving some space of each and every item as of now all the items that is we have given to show one by one inline block okay that is and we have given all the items side by sorry one by one let's even write so here after writing an anchor elements nice work with the coloring and as well so on tm hyphen drop down colon over and anchor element whereas dm hyphen menu sorry, d menu space the meaning of this one is for a drop down when you place a mouse over if it is having an anchor element and as well overall for the main class that is line number 67 if it is having an anchor element and that too when you place a mouse over that is overall irrespective of any anchor element when you place a mouse over you are just making a white color so let's see Okay, that's not applying. Huh? Okay, we'll see why it's not applying. Okay, just but when we click on hmm, clicking action is working, hovering action is not working. Clicking action is working as we have given when uh -huh. there are categories, all the items. But under the categories, we are having three items, and all these items are defaultly showing, right? You can also write some style for this. So let's do a thing. First, when you click on a particular item, it is showing that color white. So let's do one thing. Press, uh, let's write here. D menu space, UL space, UL. Seems to be something confusion, but make it individual properties to understand as of now how to write an individual properties step by step and how to check it out according to the requirement but just to understand what are the new properties and how to write a logical properties to understand and as well responsiveness right we are even applying that one responsiveness also right so then d menu hyphen ul space ul display defaultly display none so let's see right and when you just click on this one now you are not able to see the items which are under categories okay defaultly it should not show when user wants to see it has to show that is user clicks on it it has to show right so then after this so right here dm hyphen Drop down colon over UL. That is when you place a mouse over, if it is having the UL, so display block. So let's right. Actually, the action, the checkbox is overwriting this hovering effect. When you place a mouse over, it, we have planned it to have styling with the color white right now for the font but the checkbox is overwriting but 
that can be even resolved. That's not a big problem here. So, but as of now, we are able to see, see, when you are just clicking, when you just click on that main box, that is checkbox, all the items which are home, categories, about us, contact us, main list of items are displaying. And when you just click on categories, it's just displaying the sub list of items. Okay. Then, so DM hyphen, drop down and insert this UL. For this, we are planning to have a background color white and as well a color, for example, something fits your choice. I am just giving. So what is this means when you just, okay, default it is black, not exactly too much of black and it's having even shop. And when you just click on it, right, the white color, white is white color, background color, but the color is not applying right now. So, okay, let's do one thing. We are planning to make it a forcibly to apply. To apply forcibly, we can just write here, exclamation mark, important. So, let's see. So, it's not applying. Okay, let's do on the right click on this particular item. Click on inspect element for this right now. But why it is not applying? Let's just come down. If you observe here, it, it is applying this one. Right. That is, it's overriding. As discussed, see, in the very simple example or as a small example itself, we have too many things to understand and as well, it's overriding defaultly. So to make it sometimes, to not to override. That's why we give preference to embedded. Orally, we are working with an embedded. And if still it is getting something, you can just go with an inline, but not in all the cases. We will try to resolve this one as well. As a, uh, what you can say, to the maximum level. What is the meaning here? DM drop down over anchor element. DM anchor element over. So, where is this line number 61? Let's go to this code and 61. This is overriding. Okay, for timing, you can just do one thing. You can just plan for our understanding purpose. Just to understand here. Then. Okay. And when you just click on it, the color. So it's overriding. The color. For, but for main items, we want something, but it won't be like this. For main items or as for sub items, we will choose same color. We won't be having different different colors. That's one point. Okay, if you want white color here, you can just make this background color, which is this one. This one, light. You can just make it here. RGB A. 255, 255, 255, and as well 0.5, and then make it here. And then defaultly just go with here. Right. So just we are planning to have something good right now. So like this. Then now. After all these things, we can just plan DM hyphen drop down inside this if we are having UL and inside this if we are having an anchor element and the two when you are placing a mouse over for that anchor element. Okay, then the same way DM hyphen drop down. When you place a mouse, that is for normal effect and as well for hovering effect. You are just writing UL, then anchor element, hover. 
so let's make it here color for example zero 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 okay hovering right right so overall if you observe we are planning to apply hovering effect but due to javascript it is overwriting with an action what is it mm. clicking effect i mean that is not a big problem we can just change our, our code and that to see on which particular item we are just clicking that is what we are going to have black color overall meaning it's applying but it's applying the style depends upon the action but clicking action okay we will this is not a final example it's just an example for you to understand overall and logical properties how to write and as well a responsive navigation how to write previously we have discussed all the items that are just displaying side by side but these items we are planning to make it irrespective of any resolution to have step by step by one by one okay so apart of all these points now right here dm hyphen drop down space ul space ul that is drop down and for this we will write border bottom border width border style and border color whereas border top one pixel solely and then then for this also we are writing box shadow but we if you want you can just write but you can just make it if you want to remove the previous property which is given box shadow we don't want for this then we can just write box shadow and as well margin bottom of this total drop down box something you're writing and then maximum width we can also see maximum width 100 percentage and position related so what is this means a drop down box for categories we are having right now so this is one okay we have just set some things you can just write click on it and click on inspect element you can have this list of items d menu sort of some properties right you can see here instant check-in default it is like this but we have just given line height then even li for display none margin right padding like this each and every point whatever that we have given you can also download any source code and while checking how it's working you can just make it like this which property is given preference where and how to understand okay then now we have given an icon also right so yes that's also a good example how to use an icons on toss some icons or any icons in css so but first let me write here we have a class which is dm hyphen icon hyphen menu so i'm just writing here dm hyphen icon hyphen menu then put this come down Okay, it's not. Let me just do one thing. Let me write here border solid 9595 or something, whereas border you can write here display.
inline block then write a margin margin the top right bottom and as well then And then let's even write Paddy and write it transform. Rotate. So that icon, right? We are, of course, too much bigger right now. There. Just displaying. But we can just plan this one. So let's do one thing. So as we have given to rotate five forty five degrees, so it's showing a diagonal. Then L like colon over and then DM icon menu border color. We are already done with the concept, but we are just trying to have something style for that icon. And then DM hyphen menu before loading that icon. You can say observe here content if you want to show a particular icon okay for timing i'm just writing here forward slash sorry backward slash two six three zero what is this let's see first this let's do one thing let's make it then Okay, let's comment this particular part for timing. Now, the above code totally given a clear information how to create a menu and as well the nice background effect font and as well drop down. When you are clicking on a particular menu, it is just showing the list of items. Now you are going to understand the concept of how to write responsive, we can say media queries. Depends upon the resolution. How to write that media queries? At the rate of symbol, write a media space. You can also write minimum width. Minimum width, if it is 768 pixels, if it is minimum 768, maximum it can be any. If it is minimum 768, then you are writing for the main menu for each and every LI to display inline block. So what is the meaning of this one? If you just 768, right? Previously what's happened? All the items that are side by side. Now for the particular resolution, we have planned to make it side by side. Okay, for example, 576, right? How it's... Okay, so minimum if it is 768, show in this manner. If we are showing all the items side by side. Then, not only this one, we also have a nice effect with the D menu, D just for our understanding, drop down. Okay, then for this, an anchor element. So, padding. 16 pixels, then 
tm hyphen drop down position relative so then additionally tm hyphen drop down space li space anchor element so right here display block then padding top and bottom right and left that is as well white space it, it should not mess up so when we are giving a night white space with the no wrap let's just check it out this what we have given so far and okay and what about this one right as of now we're getting all the items side by side but it needs to show drop down right now so let's do one thing let's write tm hyphen drop down ul inside this and then we can say box shadow one pixel one pixel press three pixel press zero rgb a make it then write a padding top and bottom right and left position absolute because it needs to show one by one and then for this drop down we are saying that minimum width 100 percentage so let's see what's exactly with this code we are able to see if i just click on categories yes right nice effect okay font we will adjust it previously it is showing right now everything which is side by side but we have now everything nice effect in one block of items so what of all these points let's even write okay coloring let's do might be overwriting but i'm just planning to have so for example but i guess both are same right now let me just items are displaying or not let me just click on inspect image right it's displaying but it's having color white that's why right nice okay so to have this particular color let's make it here exclamation important which we are planning to forcibly trying to apply the particular property mm -hmm. it's not having so what's happening here let me just click on this and you can just get here so item right now so color not overriding just click on inspect element and on a particular so let's see wrap okay color is also padding it is overwriting i guess color where is that color white color color is not applied going have a default thing so for example let's just do one thing let's just make it here you can write here that is instant so i'm just writing here color sorry it's so overriding this one if we are just so what is that even it is overriding so we can say dm drop down over in the line number 61 that is mainly it's overriding 
so where is that 61 this one is overwriting for all the places so okay let's do one thing instead of just making with the something this one we just plan to go with the this one but it will be okay okay but it's okay let's watch so make it something different color to get an easy understanding okay that's it so when you click on it that color is matching with the background color if you want to change background color make it a light color background effect that's it. then i put up all these points and we are even getting a clear clear idea how to write a response which is depends upon the resolution right now then the last one that we can say for label and as well inputs so input dot dm hyphen menu hyphen btn comma and as well label dot dm hyphen menu hyphen btn for these both things we are just simply saying that display none and the final thing when it's opening that is dm iphone collapse additionally for that input sorry, for that input element with a type equals to check box write a class dm hyphen menu hyphen btn till the symbol whereas dm collapse that is when it's collapsing then display block block so for an input element and label and as well for drop down collapsing of an items we have given here so right now we see we know it to previously what's happening until we click on this one it's going to show but now we have made it a default opening and for drop down nice effect only thing is you can just change either background or else you can just change the color what you have planned here overall you got a clarity how to create a navigation in this session especially a navigation concept how to create a navigation and applying that style and as well for bring effects that is one and the second thing we have planned to apply a responsive navigation with the media queries a part of all these points we have even got a clarity how to write how to write the different logical errors sorry logical properties right now and as well um, styling with the nice backgrounds and font how to use an external fonts all these points in these examples so in tomorrow's session, we will discuss some other points. Uh, we will discuss the advanced level. We can say like block level, sorry, block element modifier, BEM concept and some other advanced concepts in tomorrow's session. Okay. So go through this recording for twice or thrice until you get a clear idea so that you can get more clarity. Right then. So thank you so much, we'll meet tomorrow.